rational algebraic expression wherein rational algebraic expression is a ratio it's a ratio of two polynomials so from the previous lesson well, uh, we talked about polynomials two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero in symbols p all over q where your p and your q are polynomials and q must not be equal to zero so again polynomial must be expressed in p all over q wherein p and q are polynomials and your q must not be equal to zero so your exam as an example part of an example is that on the table rational algebraic expressions a all over b your a is your numerator and b your denominator 3n all over 4n that's al um, rational algebraic expression and 2x minus 3y binomial poly that is this is a polynomial um, 2x plus 3y binomial in this case in this two case the, um, it is monomial monomial so, but they are polynomials for a uh, the opposite of rational is irrational algebraic expressions wherein your a um, all over square root of b so the value of b we it is not um, it may be equal to zero um, because to be a rational algebraic expression your b must not be equal to zero so it should be one or more than one 3n squared all over 4 plus m uh, square root of m and also um, 2x raised to the power of negative 3 minus 3 y raised to the power of negative 2 the only indication that it is an irrational algebraic expression is that uh, the symbol the square root symbol and also the um, negative exponents once they are indicated in the expression they are considered as irrational algebraic expressions if there is again if there is an uh, square root a square root sign and negative exponents they are considered immediately as irrational algebraic expressions in rational algebraic expressions were in we are to simplify the rational algebraic expression so again rational algebraic expressions are those expressions written in fraction form wherein p all over q p and q are polynomials and q must not be equal to zero so therefore simplifying rational algebraic expressions also means um, reducing it to the lowest term the lowest term so there are only two factors or two steps that we will be using the very first is that factor both the numerator and the denominator of the expression whenever possible so in factoring we will be remembering our previous lesson of greatest common factor and greatest um, common monomial factor and the second step is to be simplify and reduce the expression to simplify means to divide out factors in the numerator and denominator that are exactly the same okay rational expressions can be reduced using common factors only not common terms so again we will just only be simplifying um, using common factors using the common factors not the common terms so to understand this let us have examples by rational algebraic expression by supplying um, the missing expression that is from the hand but we will be using some shortcuts to have um, immediate answer so first is um, 8 and 4 raised to the power 4 n raised to the power 5 over um, 2 
m squared and raised to the power of 7. So, we will be using our greatest common um, greatest common factor and also the laws of exponent. So, first, we will do the numbers. So, find the greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor of 8 and 2? Simply 2. So, determine only the factors. So, 4 times 2. That, you, that will give you 8. All over 2. We can also 2 times 1. So, common. The common, uh, of common factor of 8 and 2 is 2. 4 times 2, 8. 2 times 1, 2. So, the common is 2. That is the greatest common factor. So, next. Let's go to common vari common common variables. So the common variables between the numerator and the denominator is m, m, and n. Both they have the partner. So now, as a technique, determine which uh, in loss of exponent. If we are dealing with division, we are to subtract exponents. So, in this case, which among the exponent of m has the bigger number, bigger value? So, obviously, it's m in the numerator. So, simply, since m raised to the power 4 is bigger than m raised to the power 2, and it can be found in the numerator, so place here m. 4, then place 2 together with 4, minus 2. Minus, it's because we are dealing with division. So, m raised to the power 4 minus 2. Next, n. They are common. So, which among these two n has the bigger value? So, it's 7. n raised to the power of 7 and can be found in the um, denominator. So, therefore, we will place n um, 7 minus so let us simplify cancel the common common factor not the common term so we have 2 cancel cancel 4 do we have 4 below no 1 no so you have 4 over we have imaginary number 1 we will not so oh, we, we will not anymore place 1. It's understood. So for m, m, copy, 4 minus 2, simply 2. n, for n, is below 7 minus 5, it's 2. So therefore, the answer will be 4m squared n raised to 2. Because um, 4 in m squared and n squared cannot anymore be Factor. So that is the simplified answer of the given number one.